I made this painting on the at the exact time that Michael Jackson was dying. I didn't know it at the time, but I wanted to add this to the beginning of my movie that this painting is in because it started out lightheartedly and I didn't know it was happening. Sometimes there's a synchronicity that's really weird for artists and this next painting is another example. I painted this painting on September 10th, 2001, the day before the Twin Towers came down. I couldn't keep the people from melting and being on fire and the painting kind of freaked me out so I quit working on it that day. And the next day when the towers came down, it was just like too creepy for words. And I just needed to say this before the video starts. I haven't started anything new in a really long time, and so I want to show you one of my favorite sounds. Ah. Ah. Sound of taking off the plastic. Someday I'm going to learn how to stretch my own canvas. I really will. But for now, this is what I got. Once upon a time when there was, well, no, there wasn't any money in the house then either. I bought a whole bunch of canvases. And now, all I have left, all I have left of blank ones are this one and five more. So, I've been trying to do the kind of um, paintings that I've been showing on my, um, my painting videos. Those ones with a lot of lines and a lot of picky stuff. And I know why I'm doing it. I can't afford to buy any more paint for a while. And it's changed my work. And I know there's a lot of you who can, who can sympathize with that because I'm sure the same thing's happening to you. But it's so weird because the way I work, and I'm so loosey-goosey about how I work that I never even know what colors I want to use. So I just... I just squirt out a whole bunch of stuff and just start playing. And now I feel like I have to be really careful and watch every little bit. And I know there's people that are like that, but I'm not one. I think you should have every tool that you think you're going to want at your disposal right there. And if you don't use it, too bad. Let it dry and scrape it off. Because you can't. In, in my way of thinking, you can't cramp yourself up with, you know, how much does it cost and will I waste and, you know, all this kind of stuff or else you're going to forget to paint and you're going to just start counting your ducats, you know. Unfortunately, right now, that's what I've been doing and I realize that that's what's been hanging me up about my work lately. So today I'm giving myself permission to put things on in great goopy gobs and not do, hang on, things like this one, which I, you know, I love doing this. I love this, but I am sick to hear of it right now. I want to bust loose and use big brushes and party down and all that kind of stuff and I'm just, you know, watching my supply of paint dwindle away and watching the, the economy be what it is and, and uh, you know, I have six more canvases and then pretty much I'm toast if I don't start selling something. So, do you know anybody that would like to buy a painting? <laughs> Have them watch my videos. But that's what I have to say about today. And that's especially for people that are real um, hoarders or stingy with themselves with their paint. Don't do it. God, don't be stingy with yourself. You're just stifling what could come out by saying, I don't have enough. And i got to get that out of my head. Today, I'm just going to go nuts. And it's going to be thick. And there's going to be 
that one and that one and maybe even that one because I'm just in a mood to say, you know, I'm going for it, whatever happens, happens, and I just need to paint like that, you know, big. That's what I'm going to do to this canvas because I just can't take any more of this, you know, every, you just, I got to bust loose. So, these are my paintbrushes for today. This is my canvas, 36 by 48. And I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going to use up a whole bunch of paint and let the chips fall where they may. Michael Jackson died today. And... All right. So, you know, he was a pop star, whatever. Never knew him personally. Doesn't matter to me. He was in my life for most of my life, and one of the first songs my son learned to sing was one of his. And I painted this today. I don't care if it's done or not. I'm keeping it. Because I have to remember this. Anyway, that's how my painting day went today.